Dick Termas. Today we're going to add cylinders to cylinders and see if we can figure out how to draw uh, that. I mean, they can stack together in lots of different ways. And we have a really cool little video I want you to look at first and, and it'll explain quite a bit of this to you. When you put a small cylinder on the top, you should try and center it in the oval on the top of the cylinder, and then you project up with number two lines and you get the top of the little cylinder to show up that echoes the same shape as the bottom cylinder. When you go to the bottom of the cylinder, a lot of times I'll add a dotted line so that I know where it would go or what it would look like and then echo the same dotted line of the smaller cylinder inside that. So you know it's really going to be projecting off of the main cylinder in the proper place. And then come back and erase those dotted lines. So now we're going to add cylinders on the curved surface. You can see I've used a dotted line to echo the top and the bottom. That's where the circles, which will become cylinders, are added onto. You can see from the ovals, the cylinders are projected out and they're all aiming toward that point in the center. And it looks a lot like a wagon wheel. And you have to remember that a cylinder like a hose is also a cylinder. A lot of times we forget that when you bend those edges that they're still cylinders. Also notice even though they bend around, they continue to be parallel to each other, the two sides of the cylinder. Here we have a few cylinders. Fire hydrants are a great example. Notice the multiple cylinders here. I really like this one. There are too many cylinders to count. I hope you enjoyed that video. It really helps to explain how to add uh, cylinders onto cylinders. I want to go into just a little bit more detail with that and show you some examples of, of um, how they actually stack together and all of that. So if you start off with a variety of different size cylinders, say you start with a big one there, and then you can kind of guess where, that, where a smaller one would attach, and it comes off like this. So sometimes you can add that little shadow in there to give, give you the feeling of where it, where it is, or just guess. <laughs> sometimes that works very well too. And then where this hits, this curve, remember to repeat these curves. These are all the same curve, even though it's smaller, it's still the same size. And then say uh, stack another one down below there, and even another bigger, I'm gonna have a bigger one down here. So you can um, stack a lot of different ones together and you can do big ones to small ones, small ones to big ones, whatever kind of uh, way that you want to, to put them together. Um, then this is another possibility of stacking and it might be in a progression more where you start with uh, one up on the top here and then you come underneath it with another one coming down and another one and keeping all of these curves similar and another one underneath that. All right, and make sure these curve in here nicely. I'm gonna really take your time. And let's just add one more bigger one onto that and come down. It curves in, around, comes back into there. And you might just add a little candle up there. This is the kind of birthday cake we all really want. Okay, so and maybe it has, it has writing, maybe it has your name coming around here again. If you do, if you wrote your name on here, you want to keep it within, within that same flow of the, of the cylinder uh, curved side. 
Okay, so that's another possibility. And then another one would be to, to add on to the sides of it. Let's see, let's, let's have one like this and have it be a nice big opening here. And say you want to add on to this and project uh, uh, cylinders out from it. You, you start with, um, say, the center uh, uh, cylinder, and, and then there might be another one here. And these would have to fit on the arc to get them proper, fit on the arc here that would match these lines here. And then if you think of a point in the middle of this that these are projecting from, this would come off like this. And you'd see the end of it here. This would come more out at you. And you'd erase all this. And this would come off still toward that point, off this direction. And you'd see the end of the point here. This is one, one of the things that you have to think about is what, what end is open on that. Because if you have a, a cylinder in, up in space like this, if you can put the circle on this side or you can put it on that side. If you put it on that side, then you have to get rid of this. See, now you're looking, you're, it's going back in space this way. If it's, if it's in reverse like this, and you get rid of that line, it's going back in space that way. So uh, if, for instance, if, if I have a little uh, hose here, and a hose is also a cylinder, and it starts like that, and it runs, say, right down inside this thing. Okay, and I'm gonna get rid of that line. This would curve this direction. See, it's different than that one because it's going down inside. And say it goes in there and it pops out over here. And maybe it curves around like this. Um, it, nice curve around. And it comes around and goes inside there. You can really have a lot of fun with this kind of stuff. Comes around like this, get rid of all of these lines. Get rid of a few of these. Gets a little bit too fat over here, but and maybe it's coming out at you. All right, let me just clean, clean up what we have so you can kind of see it. And let's see, we need to get rid of that, get rid of this, that line there, and these construction lines. And you end up with kind of a cool thing. Get rid of that. That's a, but that's a good thing to, to remind yourself of how, how this all works. Now I think it's all, uh, it's all flowing properly and everything. So I think that, that works pretty good. So I, I want to, uh, you know, in, in a lot of these, I like to draw something real. And then I like to draw something out of my mind. So this is a little bit out of my mind right here. A lot of times people say I'm kind of a little bit out of my mind, but we won't go into that part. All right, so um, if you were going to, uh, let's, let's just pick one of these objects here. Let's try this one. It looks uh, like it really is a nice cylinder, a smaller one on a bigger cylinder. It's pretty square. There's a little bit of a slant uh, in, in it, but let's just start, uh, We'll start on the bottom with this first, and make the this or the bottom or the below the lid anyway, and go down with it like this, and try and get the length of it. It looks like it goes about there, okay. And then we're going to add this little cylinder on the top, and it has a lid about that high up. And you want to make sure it connects here, swings across, and there's this little smaller cylinder inside there. 
that it attaches to. So I'm going to erase that. All right, so we're pretty close to this. This looks a little bit big. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. I'm going to start at about that, about that size. I think it would be more accurate. Come down and then a smaller little cylinder inside there. All right, and this has a little rim around here, but I'm going to pop it up here like that. Okay, so now it's actually open and it's attached up here, which is a little cylinder too. It has a little bit of dimension right along this side. And you have, it actually has, if you could see it, there's a tiny little cylinder right here. I'm going to put my hand on there and get a little tiny cylinder right there. That is what pops holds it in place. And there's a little cylinder that sits here, that a hole that it fits into. So that pops into that little hole. Any of the writing on here has to flow with this again. And this has a lot of advertising and stuff on it. So all of that lettering has to fit with the flow of the, of the curve as it goes around the corner. So that, that's one looking at it. That's one where I actually am looking at a real thing. And then I'm going to try one here that, that I make up out of my mind, like I a lot of times do. All right, this is a real simple one. And I'm not going to tell you what it is till you happen to notice it. There's a cylinder there. And then I'm going to put a much bigger one down here, like so. And I'll add, in, in order for you to know it's a cylinder, it might have a little extra line along here, very, very skinny, that comes along. And sometimes that might be a little bit hard to know what it is, but if you add this underneath it, a very happy guy with teeth. All right, and he has curly hair, one of our forefathers or something. So now it kind of is obvious that it's a hat, I hope, and might have a band around it or something too. If it has a band around it, it would be something on that order. And so I hope you enjoyed this uh, this lesson, and I hope you'll come back and look at more things that we're going to take on. Thank you. I hope to see you again when we subtract from cylinders.